Hi, this is session 28 of Apigee Edge course for beginners. In this session, we will see to pass quota policy parameters from body of the request. In our previous session, we have seen how to pass the quota policy parameters from header of the request. So this is continuation to our part 26 and 27. So if you haven't watched those sessions, I would recommend you to watch before proceeding further with this session. All right, let's flip to Google Chrome browser and log in into Apigee at GUI. So once you log in, click on AP proxies under develop tab, which will populate all the AP proxies we have created already. And here if you could see AP proxy demo is the AP proxy which we have been using in our course so far. So let's use the same AP proxy. And let's navigate to develop tab. And this is the uh, quota policy which we have been using. And uh, here we are passing the value from the uh, header of the request. So in this video, we'll see how to pass from body section. All right. So uh, first of all, we need to add a policy called extract variable policies in order to uh, extract the variable from the body of the request so let's go ahead and add that policy so let's click plus icon for the policy section and look for extract variables policy here it is and let's name it as heavy hyphen extract policy param and let's add so let's get rid of all the unnecessary properties and all these properties uh, we will we'll discuss in our uh, the coming video sessions but for now let's get rid of all these uh, unnecessary tags and we also don't need these tags and we would need uh, this JSON payload. All right, so in this session, we are uh, going to pass the parameters as a JSON from the request. In our next video session, we will see uh, to pass as an XML and we'll see how can we retrieve it from the request. So in this session, we'll see uh, to, uh, you know, retrieve from the JSON. All right now uh, let's understand it uh, we would need three variables so i'm going to make this as three variables here all right so uh, let's name it as allowed count so this is the variable name i'm naming and let's name it as interval and the last variable we would need is time unit this variable name you can give any meaningful name you want so all right so here we'll have to specify uh, the path from where uh, the uh, parameter is coming from our request so let's say we would need to pass like this from the request so let's copy these param values and how this policy know uh, it is coming from body so in order to specify that let's provide this dollar symbol and provide the parameter name likewise we would need to provide for other uh, params as well and we have provided for second param and the last param is All right, we have provided uh, these params, so it will extract these param values from the body of the request and it will have these variable names available. All right, so uh, let's go to our quota policy and just provide the variable name here. Get rid of all these request dot header. Since we have extracted 
uh, the values from the body and those values are available in these variables all right with these changes and also uh, we would need to uh, pay, uh, we would need to uh, you know attach this policy in our flow so let's go ahead and uh, copy the name of the policy which we have just added so let's copy and uh, this is our flow mocha if any api is our flow so we'll have to attach this policy here just after verifying our api key step just provide the policy name with these changes let's save this as a new revision and from our request we need to uh, pass this from the body so in order to pass this uh, from the body the request has to be post or port so let's make it as post and provide uh, the values here so let's make it as json and let's provide the body section all right we have provided here we have made allowed count as three interval is one and the time unit is minute and here we need to change a slight uh, change in our uh, flow so we are invoking a uh, quota policy only when the uh, request matches mock and the verb is get so we have changed the verb to post so let's change it to post and save this change so all right our changes are saved and let's deploy it on the test environment all right our changes are saved and deployed now let's try to provide the request from the postman and let's see whether our changes are reflected and it has to uh, allow only three requests so one is given this is second one and this is third one and this is fourth one all right this is not reflected why let's look at that in action so uh, let's navigate to the extract policies load count interval time unit so let's trace whether our uh, our policy is getting invoked so let's trace our session start our uh, start trace and now let's provide the request all right it says okay let's click on extract variable policy and see whether we are see allowed count we have retrieved three and interval is one and time unit is minute we have it properly and let's navigate to develop tab let's see in the uh, quota policy so a load count interval time unit are provided uh, properly all right let's try to give it the request again first request is succeeded second is succeeded third is succeeded and here we go fourth it is says uh, rate limit quota violation all right so uh, here uh,